What's going on guys? Dan Barracuda here. This is my first mixing video I'm going to do for you guys. First of many, <laughs> alright? So I'm going to show you guys how to make a phone recording sound a lot, a lot more professional. Here is a phone recording I have over here. I'm going to dump it on to Pro Tools. This one's called Beholder, little nylon classical piece I wrote like four years ago. It's funny because this thing is actually one of my alarm clocks, so pretty tired of this one. Here we go, let's listen. Phone, the iPhone, iPhone recording using voice memos. Okay, cool. So you hear it. It's got, you know, it sounds like a phone recording. So what I'm going to do is over here, the magic, the secret to doing this, guys, is EQ. EQ is, is it. Okay. So this is a standalone recording. Like, I'm not going to add anything to it, like uh, no other instruments. I just want to make this phone recording sound awesome. So, what I would do, guys, is I would listen, and this is what I'm going to do. The whole key to EQ is to listen for the bad moments. And you're going to hear them with me. I'll talk. I'll, I'll be talking as we, as we go along doing this. So, here we go. stuff I don't want to do too much I don't want to do too much just a little bit just to clean up like super low frequencies um, you know I, I recorded the, the guitar really close up so there's like a lot of bassness going on but just a little bit but you're gonna see now I'm gonna go through the dots so here's red or I'll, I'll start from left to right okay looking for the bad the bad the bad bad the bad moments here we go That is really gonna clean it up, guys. Okay, watch. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Ooh. We made a clip a little bit. Okay, I'm not done. Okay, I'm going to add another EQ track because subtractive EQ is my favorite thing, guys. So, I just kind of did this by a feeling thing. I don't want to eliminate like too much or I, I could, but maybe I'll do it in the second round of EQ. So, here I'm going to begin my second round of EQ. So, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to open another EQ plugin, same one, and then let's hit play again and let me do a little bit more. It's like a feeling thing. You gotta train our ears to really listen to these frequencies. Look at this. Ooh. You don't want to completely kill it, but you want to shave a little bit off. Right? Look at that. You hear that? It's undesirable. Look. with it. Here we go. Bypassed. This is the original. Before any EQing.
Now I could I could do more. There's a lot of high frequencies going on, like this from the phone recording. So watch, I can go I go like this. Let's hit it again. Hit this. cleaning it a lot now you know what else I want to do I want to add some reverb so I'm gonna create a reverb bus watch this oh god I gotta move this over okay so we got create I went to track new stereo aux input boom I'm gonna call this reverb I'm gonna to go to input I'm gonna find my designated reverb right over there right you see that um, and then I'm going to open my plugin and I use this awesome reverb called Valhalla. I paid 50 bucks for it. I really like it. My default thing to do with Valhalla is to bring the high cut over here of the reverb and bring it down a little bit. And then I'll bring the decay down. It depends on the song. Yeah, I know I don't want this to be like ridiculous reverb, so I'm going to, you know, bring the decay down anywhere between 2 and 4 seconds. I think the default's 4. I like to bring it to, you know, maybe like 2.8 or something. Keep the mix at 100. Okay, and I also like to color code things. So here, um, hold on a second. Over here, I'm gonna make re. I like to make reverb like this color. That's my reverb color. Beholder, that's the original. Okay, because it's acoustic, I like to make acoustic um, yellow. Okay, so I got my reverb bus all set. Now I want to add. I want to make a send from my phone recording to my reverb bus. So I'm gonna go to send bus find it should be highlighted there it is reverb boom right now it's at zero but I'm gonna adjust it let's 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 listen back and then as I bring it up check it as I bring it up here we go this is subtle Too much, too much, too much, too much. Cool, right? Okay, so it it everything depends on the music, right? This is nice and gentle. This is like a little like gentle piece. Let's let's listen again to it. Here. It sounds pretty good. Um Another thing I can do to like experiment a little bit, you can add a little bit of compression. So I like to do parallel processing. So what I mean by that is I'm going to take this track, I'm going to duplicate it, duplicate it, boom. Now you don't have to do this. Again, it all depends on the music. So Beholder Comp, right, like compression, okay. So I got this here. So I, it these are exactly the same tracks. I actually keep the same settings. I'm going to solo this one and I'm going to like just crank up the compression. So I'm going to go to dynamics. I just use the standard Pro Tools compressor, man. I love this thing. Um, I'll go to like acoustic guitar just to get like a little like some help with the, with the default settings. So this is soloed over here. Let's hit play. Now what I'm looking at is over here. The, I'm looking at this. I want it to be... If I'm doing some serious compression, not some serious, but just like I want to do some accurate compression, I'll do it between negative three and negative six, but I want it to be a little more compressed. So I'm going to bring it just below negative six. That's like the, like the line I like to use. So I'll bring the threshold down. Right there. Now I want this to match. I want the output to match the input a little bit. So I'm going to add some gain. Now parallel processing. I'm gonna solo both these tracks. Actually, I could just do this, right? Uh, I also don't need reverb on the second track, so I'm gonna cut that right there. So I'm gonna bring this down, boom, and I'm gonna slowly bring it up.
sounds pretty good, right? So I'm gonna, you know what? If I wanted to, if I wanted to be weird like this, I could, I could just do something like this. Why is this playing? And then I'll just I'm gonna find a nice balance. Make a nice stereo track, right? Look at that. Sounds pretty good to me. Now, of course, there's some sound, right? Just, it's still there. It's a lot better than it was before. But something I could do would be, you know what I would do in the future if you were making a phone recording? You want some more empty space. Like th this sound right here. No, not that sound. Uh, okay. It's, it's more like this sound. Check it out. The intro, this sound. That, that sound. That. Uh, you know what you could do? Um, I have a, a plugin called Bruce Free. I think it's from Germany, man. Not, not a lot of people know about it, but um, that's it's. I have it under noise reduction. Bruce Free. It's so interesting. And this is just like an extra thing if you want to get rid of that sound or just any kind of unwanted sound. You have to be careful with it because it could eliminate some information. So watch. So you want to hit learn while <laughs> while that empty space is going on. That's why when you're making a phone recording, you want to have some of that space going on. This empty space right here. So, I'm gonna have to be really quick about this. Watch this. Ooh, that was hard. There it is. Okay, that's this is it without it. Now that's it with it. You know, I lost some information doing that. But then you EQ accordingly, or um, you know, you can duplicate and add, add some more uh, treble to it, or. You don't have to, it all depends on what you want to do with the song, you know what I mean? So, um, but even without it, I think it sounds, I think it sounds better, man. Don't you think it sounds better? Here's it without these plugins. Check it out. Without all this, you know, and I'm actually going to mute this. I'm just going to mute this. Check it out. Without the reverb. This is a before. Here's before and after. think about that this is my first video man i'm gonna get better at this i promise but uh i hope you enjoy that one and l let me know what you think in the comments let me know what uh you know we think of before and after and what i did here with the eq i'd love to know uh take care guys talk to you soon